Hello, my name's Andy from the Opinionated Brit and welcome back to the uh, Shave Den. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks since I posted a video. A um, couple of reasons for that. Um, one, I just haven't been sort of in the right frame of mind for posting the videos. Um, anybody that uh, has their own YouTube channel will probably know where I'm coming from. Um, if you're not feeling um, like recording a video, it's going to come across in your videos, um, possibly as in you're not interested. So the best thing to do is just not post a video. Um, so I haven't posted for a couple of weeks. Um, I've been having a few sort of personal things going on, um, which I guess hasn't really helped, but not to dwell on them too much. We're back. Um, it's Friday, or at least it is Friday when I'm recording this. So anybody that's seen the channel before or watched the video knows. Cheers. Um, this isn't what it looks like. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a cloudy lemon cider. Um, I don't know. I know what you're thinking. Lemon, cider, apples. How do they go? How do they work together? Well, they do. Trust me. It's uh, the Thatcher's Cloudy Lemon Cider. So if you can get your hands on that anyway, you can definitely get it in the UK. I'd highly recommend that if you like your cider. It's a really good summer drink and it actually tastes more like uh, a bit of shandy, um, if you know what that is. So that, for anybody that doesn't know, that is lemonade mixed with uh, bitter. Bitter? It is bitter, yeah. Bitter. Um, you can do it with lager, that's a lager shandy, but it tastes uh, strangely like that. So yeah, it is uh, nice if you can get your hands on it. So what are we doing today? Um, well, we're gonna start um, with something I'm gonna call the shaving spotlight. And we're gonna look at one product um, and sort of focus on that rather than just doing a generic shave of the day. And the, the product we are looking at today is the Q-Shave Adjustable. Um, it's a full metal razor, um, there's no plastic parts in it, uh, made of aluminium alloy. Um, the handle is uh, 96 mils, I believe. Um, it's got an overall length of 108 mils, so it's quite a long razor. Um, four ounces, so it is hefty, I like that. It's got a bit of weight in it. You could do some damage with that if you wanted to. So yeah, it feels good in hand, it's got a good uh, weight to it. Um, I know what you're thinking as well, again, well, it's just a Mercure Future clone. Well, true, it is, but it is a fraction of the cost of the Mercure Future. And I haven't used the Mercure myself, so I can't really compare it to that, and it'd probably be unfair for me to compare. Um, but a lot of people that have used both, a lot of them have said it is just as good as the Mercure Future. Um, it comes with, or at least the pack I got, Obviously the razor, this bullet stand, which sits in there nicely. Um, it comes with, I think I got five packs of the uh, Q-Shave titanium blades, and these are actually made in the USA. Um, it, what does it sell at? So at the minute I've been, I was having a look before, you can actually get this razor for two pounds, 29 pence. And that's from Wish, um, and I believe that comes with five packs of razors. So £2.29, you can pay that, or you can pay around about £55 for the Mercury Future. And as I said, a lot of people have said it is comparable, as good as the Mercury Future. So for that price, you can't go wrong. I've been shaving for this with this probably for the last couple of weeks since I, um, since I posted a video last. And I have to admit, for an adjustable razor, I can't find any faults in it. I know there's a lot of people that have said, or a lot of people that have had them that have had issues with it, like the top cap doesn't sit down properly on both sides, so you may find that it's um, it's not level, obviously, throughout the blade gap. I've not had any issues with that. Some people have said that the, um, the blade exposure is not even, um, on both sides. Again, I've not had that issue, so I guess it's just luck of the draw. Um, I'm not 100% sure of the QA process that it goes through. Obviously, it's made in China, 
Um, I personally don't have any issues with the, the hardware made in China. I know some people do, but out of all the races I've got, um, made in, the ones made in China, I've not had any issues with them. Um, obviously, it's an adjustable razor. It's got settings from one through two, nine, is it nine? No, one through six. Um, so you can set it for a, the different aggressiveness um, that you, you want. You can have obviously one is not very aggressive at all. It's a mild razor through to six, which is quite aggressive. I tend to use it on probably a setting four, four or five, um, and I still find that's a comfortable shave. So yeah, that's the um, Q-Shave adjustable razor. Um, we are going to be using some new blades that I haven't used before. Obviously the Parker blades. I've heard, again, I've seen these highly recommended. So they come in that uh, little dispenser, there's five in each. And then they're wrapped in this um, wax paper. Um, I think it's wax, uh, but I don't think this one is wax. This one is just literally paper. Um, I've had a couple of new soaps delivered um, in the last couple of weeks, and I was going to use one of those, but then I thought, no, I won't do that. I'm going to uh, we're going to have a look at a British uh, soap or a British brand, um, Phoenix and Bow. This is their Trafalgar soap. Um, this has got scent profiles of green birch, North Sea and Samphire. So it's quite a, a unique soap. It's um, it's quite hard to describe really. Earthy, I guess. Um, it's not earthy in the, in, the same, in the same way Petrichor would be from Barrister Man, but it's got a nice, I guess, coastal scent to it. Um, I've already whipped up a lather previous just to save time so you can, it whips up real nice so there's uh the soap whipped up we're going to be using the uh, lucky dice razor from um yaki we are going to be using the pro raso um pre-shave as always and we are going to be using the nivea for men two-phase aftershave lotion as a post. I can see obviously the two phases, you have to shake that to um, activate it. Shake, 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 shake. So there you go, nice shiny um, aftershave lotion there. I don't know whether you can get that anymore. I've, I've heard rumors it's been discontinued, which is a, is a damn shame because it is a really good aftershave lotion. I've got three boxes of it. When I heard it might be uh, being discontinued, I went and bought that three. Three of those, um, not sure if you can get it in the US or anywhere else across the world, but if you can, I'd highly recommend getting your hands on that. Um, I think that is about it. So we'll crack on with the shave. Hope you're all doing well. I've had my normal pre-shave. So, warm shower. Um, I've used an exfoliating scrub. And then we'll just, uh, We'll use some of the Pro Raso as well, just because I have got quite sensitive skin, so it helps with the shave. And I do see a lot of people asking actually, does it make a difference? In my mind, yes, it does. It helps with the glide, it's a smoother shave. Um, it keeps your skin nice and moisturized throughout the shave. Obviously the soaps and the creams do that as well. But it's just an added layer of uh, slickness, really. That one uh, is the green, which is the mentholated one. I, uh, I do have the blue one, which I'll do a video on that separately. Not as much of a fan as the blue one, but still uh, a good one nonetheless. Have a little slurp. That literally was a slurp. And we'll... Uh, Crack on with a, a soap. Yeah, so uh, happy weekend, everyone, depending on when you're watching this. Is it Friday night here in the UK? And thankfully, it's a cooler day today, cooler evening. Um, last probably few days, certainly from I think, Tuesday, it's been red hot here. Um, been in the high 20s, high 20 degrees. Uh, not Fahrenheit, 
Um, obviously for the UK, that's quite hot actually. Has it been in the 20s? It might be in the 30s actually. Um, <clears throat> I hate that weather. I hate the hot weather, um, especially when I'm working. Um, it's just too hot. And as a rule of thumb, we don't have air con in the UK. So it is hot and sticky and sweaty. So it is quite muggy this evening. So if I start dripping with sweat, I apologize. Um, but as I say, it is a bit cooler today. I know a lot of guys um, down south with, um, where did I put my shave towel? Oh, so yeah. A lot of the guys down south in the UK have been getting hit with uh, thunderstorms and quite a lot of rain. Uh, obviously up here in God's County, Yorkshire, we haven't, uh, we've managed to avoid that to a, so we haven't had any rain all week to be honest, but I know a lot of people have had thunderstorms and a lot of, <clears throat> a lot of rain. So hopefully it'll be our turn for that. As I said with the, the, uh, the Q shave, to take it off, just pops off like that. Take the razor blade, put it on the two lugs over the top like that. If you can pick them up, two lugs, and then just clips back on the top like that. Make sure it's on properly. There you go. You should hear a clip when it goes back on. And then set it to your desired setting. As I say, I normally have it on about four, which is kind of like medium. Let's go, we'll go four and a half. So it goes up to six and a half, I think, actually. Um, so that, yeah, that's fairly aggressive on the aggressive side of things. And we'll crack on, let's crack on. Probably got about three or four days growth here. Managed to get myself a haircut, obviously. During our lockdown here in the UK, the barbers were closed. I couldn't get to the barbers, obviously. Um, and I was working all throughout the lockdown and I ended up looking like Wurzel Gummidge. I don't know if you know who Wurzel Gummidge is, but he was a scarecrow with really scruffy hair. Um, so I had to cut my own hair, or at least try to. And yeah, it went a little bit wrong. My hair isn't normally this short, it's quite long, uh, a lot longer than this, so yeah, managed to get to the barbers this week, just for a bit of a tidy up, I feel a million times better for it. You'll know, I've not always had long hair, but when you've got long hair, it starts to get all wispy all around the sideburns and the ears, and it's a pain in the arse, it looks scruffy. And I like to take pride in how I look. I like to look clean, neat and tidy. As we should as males. And um, if you're not aware of Phoenix and Bow, as I said, they're a, a UK brand headed up by uh, Kerry Burrows and his wife. Um, it's a family business. Um, I am wanting to re-record the episode of the Opinionated Brick podcast with Kerry. Um, shameless plug, if you're not aware of my uh, companion podcast, the Opinionated Brick podcast, we are we obviously talk to different artisans, um, YouTubers, um, brewers um, from YouTube, um, guys that do home brewed hair products, artisans that obviously make the soap, YouTubers that have wet shaving channels, um, hair review channels, review channels. So that, that podcast is out there. That's the Opinionated Brick podcast. We're in uh, season two now. So we had the first episode of season two was re-released or re-released this week. Um, and on that, we've got uh, Manish Batra. Um, he has the Better Man, YouTube channel. Um, 
Better Man Batra on Instagram. He has got um, his YouTube channel, which is Better Man Real, which he's got a few videos up. I think he's concentrating on some other things at the minute. Um, Better Man Grooming, which is um, hopefully his own brand, which will be coming out, I think he said next year. He's planning on bringing it out yet next year. He's been working on it um, this year. So yeah, head over to the Opinionated Brit podcast. You can find it on Podbean, Spotify, iTunes, um, Google Podcasts, and all the main uh, podcast hosting sites. So just search for the Opinionated Brit, um, and you can find some podcast interviews are over there. So quite a few um, wet shaving ones. Um, last season we had Sinatra Lennon. We had Kevy Shaves. We had um, Ken Surfs. And this this season we've got uh, even more. We've got Zangari Man. Um, we've got Mantic 59. We've got Stan from Pacific Shaving um, and a few others. So I'm looking forward to that. It should be good. Um, if you're watching this as a YouTuber or an artisan um, and you want to come on the, the channel as a guest, not the channel, the, the podcast as a guest, let me know. Drop a comment um, in the comments or send me an email to theopinionatedbrit at outlook.com um, and I'd love to have you on. Obviously, I don't want to stop after season two. I want to carry on going. So the more, the merrier. So, yeah, past two, we're going to go across the grain. And I have to admit, this razor is not letting me down. It's comfortable. It's uh, smooth. I meant to show you. I'll show you after when we've done the finish the shave the the blade exposure and the, the gap i have no issues with this razor whatsoever um i guess some people have had bad experiences so they're going to tar all chinese razors with the same brush but i'm not going to dwell on that because i've not had that experience oh hang on t-shirt we haven't spoken about the t-shirt so this week it is not a um monthly tea club t-shirt i think this one was from a company called nerd block uh similar to loot crate which i have spoken about in the past um and this is from half-life um if you haven't played half-life need to it's quite I, thought, well, I want to say it came out probably 2000s mid 2000s maybe early 2000s and it's kind of like a, a puzzler a puzzle adventure game it's really sort of immersive it's got a good storyline so yeah I like this t-shirt it's good I was hoping I'd have my t-shirt from the monthly tea club here for this video because it is a doozy this month. Obviously, I get to see the designs, go pick them. Um, prior to them being sent out, what's wrong with my cat? You can maybe hear him like crying, but it's been like that for a few a few days. Maybe he doesn't like the hot weather either. But. I'm happy with that shave, that's smooth. I don't, as you know, I don't go to three passes because I have got sensitive skin, but let's uh, wash that soap off and have a look. Need a bit of a tidy up, but I'll do that afterwards. But yeah, let's um, go with some cold water just to uh, Close the pores up. But 
yeah, I'm impressed with that. As I said, I'm impressed with that razor. I've had no problems with it. Oh, hang on. Keep saying I'll do this, but I don't. You probably won't be able to pick it up very well, but if you look at that, the blade exposure is pretty much bang on across the uh, length of the blade on each side, which is what you want. Um, for the price, you cannot go wrong. If you're in the UK, like I said, you can get it for two pound twenty nine pence. That's two hundred and twenty nine pennies. I mean, come on, you can pay that, or you can pay the fifty five pounds that is a standard going rate for a Merco Future. I would like to get my hands on it at some point just to uh, to compare, but imagine there'll be very little difference. Two phase lotion mixed up. Go with a good slosh of that. Oh yeah. Smells good. This stuff makes you uh makes your skin feel great. It's not oily, doesn't take uh doesn't take a long time to absorb. And yeah, it makes your skin feel in the words of Tony the Tiger, great. If you don't know who Tony the Tiger is, he's the tiger from the Cornflakes advert. Not anymore, but he used to be. Um, so there you go, that is the uh, Q-Shave adjustable, obviously. It is a copy of the Merca Future, but having used it, I've got no problems. It shaves well, it feels good in the hand. It's a good weight, it's a good length. Although it's a, um, a smooth handle, it's not slippy. It has, it, the grip is fine um, and I'd highly recommend it. It gets my uh, seal of approval. As always, really appreciate watching. As a, always appreciate you coming back it means a lot i know i've been away for a couple of weeks but i will be back every week from now on go and check out the opinionated brit podcast if you haven't already i think next week we have got cyrus and jacob from stickmore um and they are a home brewed hair product company out of california so we're going to be recording that tomorrow tune in for that if you've uh, enjoyed this video i would really appreciate it if you would click that subscribe button Click the like button and leave a comment um, down below. Uh, love the interaction with you guys. And uh, we'll see you again soon. Stay saving. Stay saving. I will get that right one week. Stay safe and stay saving. <laughs> stay safe and stay shaving. There we go. Um, maybe I need to get rid of that one because I just can't say it. Um, yeah, have a good weekend. Um, Enjoy yourself, whatever you do, and we'll get to see you again soon. Peace.